here at the world premiere of Tomorrow When the War Begins. We'll be talking to all the celebrities on the red carpet. Let's check it out. Point here with the director of the film, Stuart Beatty. How was it working on the film? Uh, yeah, firstly, great story, great characters. Um, secondly, that it was Australian and it was commercial and you don't really get that a lot. And, uh, and also that it was this beloved title that was very well known. How about a trip if we go back to school? We'll get a bunch of us together and go further up the river than we've ever been before. Hey, you can see Cobbler's Bay from here. What is this? Makeup? Oh, man, do you even know where we're going? This is clearing up ahead. So this being the first one, obviously there's going to be more to come. Are you going to get involved with those? You know, I, I would love to make more. Um, you know, there are obviously six books, so there's a wealth of story to delve into there. But at this point, it's not up to me, it's not up to us, it's up to the audience. So if the audience wants to see more, come on out and see the film, and uh, you know, that'll convince the financiers to let us make two and three. We'd love to. What was the best part of working on the film? I think all the explosions were probably the best fit, you know, singeing people's eyebrows and lighting up the night sky, that's always fun. So beautiful. Let's do this again. Back here in the same place. The same people. Baba! Baba! Hello! Is that dial tone? What is going on? Now, John Mazden is about walking up the red carpet. He's the original author of the books, and uh, you can get those in all bookstores. Now, I'm going to ask him, how was it having your book turned into a film? Well, I'm loving it. I, never sure, I was never sure that it would be a nice feeling, but it's turned out to be wildly exciting, so I'm pretty happy. Was it hard to let go of a book, and when someone approaches you say, hey, I want to make it into a film, what was your first reaction? Oh, no way. I, I've never been a big movie fan. I didn't want anyone putting their hands on my book and that stayed the same for many years and so to get to this moment has been the subject of quite a lot of you know tension and questioning and reflection but i'm here i'm happy i really love what they've done so it's all worked so how many years have you spent writing all these books uh, this series took about eight years and then another three or four years for the following series so really about 12 years of my life have gone into it Any idea whose army it is? It doesn't matter who they are, because they're here now, and we've got to deal with it. I don't know about you guys. I'm not so good at doing nothing. People are dying out there. Everything's a risk from now on. How was it working on the film for you? It was incredible. It was an absolute dream come true. I still can't believe that it's quite happened. It all feels so surreal. So were you happy with the character you actually got, or did you want to play somebody else? Yeah, I really wanted to play Lee, Lee yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> I they said, Ali and not attractive yeah. enough, you know. No, it was, it was brilliant. I, I, I mean, if the character wasn't without its pressures and without, you know, its difficulties, but I still, I loved it. I couldn't have asked for a better role, honestly. And, and for Lee, it was certainly challenging because he actually doesn't say that much, and I think it's about, like, what, three or four sentences for the first half of the movie. Um, so you have to convey a lot. Um, without saying a lot, which is which was a challenge. There seems to be a lot of shuffling around with characters and, and what, you're going to play somebody else? And yeah, I mean, there's so many characters. I think yeah. it's just trying to find the right person for the right character and hopefully you get the right one. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it like working with all the cast? Too much fun. Yeah, we had what, such a good time. I mean, all, everyone's so on the top of their game and we had the ball doing it. So, any injuries? Injuries? Yeah, we all kind of came out with bruises and cuts, yeah. but nothing serious. Yeah, just they sore ankle here and then, well. but yeah, we were lucky. Yeah. So, obviously a bit of physical demanding as well for a movie. Did you have to do an extreme workout to sort of get ready for this? It's a trainer, it's like a nightmare. It was yeah. like stairs and boxing and all that. like three weeks, every second day, thing. in the morning as well, so, but it was worth it. country better than they do, we can use that to our advantage. We can go out there using hit and run tactics. We have to start acting like soldiers. I can't tell if what I did was right or wrong. In the end, I think we just have to trust our instincts. 
What do your instincts tell you? That it's time to go to war. Bullets hit them. Hit them hard. They're going to be coming after us now with everything they got. We've got to fight back. Yeah, man, they yeah, loved the book. I read it when I was 12 and then finished it all off when I was in high school. So it's kind of been like um, a project I wanted to do for about 10 years now. Hello. Hello. And hey, this is Rachel. Hiya. Yeah. How are you going? So what's it, what, what's it like working with this fella then? It's hard, eh? It's the best experience. Oh. It's just too easy. Oh, stop it's it. It's wonderful. Very professional. Wonderful actor. Brilliant person to have around on set. Lots of good fun. Really lovely. So tell us a bit about your role. Um, I play Corey, who's his girlfriend, and Ellie's best friend, and um, I get my heart broken by this one. Um, it happens, it happens. And then it all sort of comes bad in the end, so... So obviously a lot of kissing, practice scenes, off screen, all that sort of thing? We don't, well, I wouldn't say we... No, every three minutes, not every yeah. two, yeah, about every three and a half minutes or so, we, we give it a crack. for a different character to begin with so I auditioned for Corey and then I got two callbacks for that and then I got Robin um, I didn't audition for Robin so it wasn't that long a process but the weights in between were long so how did you have to get your head around changing characters then um, it was a little difficult I mean I had about two weeks to prepare so that was all right but um, I'd always loved Robin but I'd never pictured myself as her so it was interesting so how did you think you go playing her now well I guess that's up to the audience I tried my best and for us, this war begins tomorrow. So has there been any damage? You know, obviously this is quite explosive. Any injuring, you know, any injuries? Had a bit of skin off my back when Caitlin tried to kill me. Yeah, I, I'm, I did nothing. I'm lazy, so yeah, nothing happened to me. I'm fine. So you're a fan of the book, and have you read the whole whole series? Yeah, definitely. I hadn't read the book before the film, but after the film, I became a big fan of it. And you'd read it a billion times before the film. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. Thanks very much. Thanks, mate. Right. Well, thanks for watching. That's tomorrow when the war begins. I hope you check it out at your local cinema.